for garden beds, you can go buy all the lumber and put all the pieces together, or you can repurpose items that maybe you have in your garage or you found for free on Craigslist. Old entertainment centers are all over the place. You just need to make sure that whatever you have is about 12 inches deep and has drainage on the bottom. Here are some examples of things that I have repurposed into garden beds. These are cabinets from pinball machines. And in this case, I got this from a friend who restores pinball machines. He thought he could use it. I don't know where he got it, but he gave it to me. He couldn't use it. These ah! All right, another thing that I found in a garbage bin was this old ironing board. And this is a great portable potting bench because if you get dirt on the top, it just falls right through. It's also very easy to move around the yard. This is an old mailbox that I painted and glittered up. And I use this to store tools in, it keeps them dry and safe and away from spiders and critters. Pieces of cribs that have been recalled, a lot of thrift stores can't sell these cribs because it's illegal to do so. But they can be parted out and you can zip tie the panels together and now you have a trellis for beans or cucumbers. Ah! And plant labeling. A lot of people, when they redo their blinds, they don't need these anymore, and you can find these in thrift stores. These make really nice plant markers, and I really like this because it's golden sparkly, but usually they're white. They can be plastic or metal. You're just going to write on them with a Sharpie. You can write the scientific name on one side, common name on the other side, pop it in your garden bed, and if you want to go bigger, you can repurpose fence pickets. Again, just take a Sharpie and Put the name on it and then you can put these in your garden beds.